guys so today i want to show you an easy way to fix issue you may have sometimes trying to download digital assets from envato elements if you're not familiar with Envato Elements, this is an amazing digital asset marketplace where you have over 6 million products and they keep adding new ones every single day. Unlimited choice, literally. You have a stock video, you have video templates, music, sound effects, graphic templates, presentation templates, photos, fonts, and so on. So sky is the limit. Ever since I've started using this website, my workflows double and also triple because just by browsing this amazing website, you start brainstorming so many ideas because the options are insane. And the cool things about this website is that, yes, of course, you have a membership to pay as for everything, nothing is free, but the value you get out for the money you pay is insane, seriously. You know how sometimes you subscribe to websites like Epidemic Sound where you can download music or sound effects and you know soundtracks or on the other end you have something like um, iStock where you have stock videos and uh, stock pictures. Well with Embado Elements you have all of them in one place so you pay only one membership to have all these options rather than pay two or three different membership because you do have music as well as stock video and uh, pictures you have graphic motions you have alpha channels uh, you have videos overlay special effects you have a website template you can literally build a website in minutes with Envado elements once you start using it you're gonna fall in love with it if you are interested and this is the first time you heard about it please check the description down below i'm gonna leave my affiliate link so you can join and there's always a promotion going on so it's a win-win kind of situation and you can try it for yourself and you will see that it's so worth it and it's an amazing creative space where you can have unlimited unlimited options and other things i really love about Emado elements is that even if or when you decide to cancel your subscription you can still have a full licensing for all the previous digital assets you have downloaded in the past while your membership was still active and so you are covered you will never you know have issues with copyrights infringements or royalty you know you will never have that kind of issues which is you know a lot of peace of mind so just for this there's just so much to gain by using um, a marketplace like this one but anyway let's go back to the purpose of this video which is uh, showing you how to fix when sometimes you have issues in downloading digital assets from Embado and it looks like you cannot use it you know because most people are using iMovie as editing software for videos and a lot of time even myself I still use iMovies most of the times because it's so comfortable you know it's a free software you get with your Apple computer so why not make the most of it I do use Final Cut Pro and Filmora sometimes but I'm still very comfortable in using iMovie most of the times so very often um, when you try to download and let me give you a specific example a couple of days ago I was trying to download some clouds in alpha channel so I'm gonna type here clouds alpha channel and as, yeah I think it was this one so you have this beautiful 4k right so very high resolution alpha channel video of clouds so you can change the background as you can see on the video preview and here on your right panel you have all the attributes so you can check it's an alpha channel yes and then it's looped which is great because obviously it makes it so much easier for you to create seamless videos but we don't care much right now for this example the looping options it's mostly a matter of downloading so let's say we want to download this one and we download it into clouds so here we go save okay so here is downloading and while we wait for this one to download i'm going to give you another example so just to show you the difference here for example we have another clouds here so let me download even this one 
Okay, and now that we have our two clouds downloaded right here, uh, see this one comes in a folder because you have multiple options, but see this is exactly what I mean. Sometimes you download an asset from Envato Element and it's not compatible with a QuickTime player as you have this pop-up window that tell you it's not compatible. And you're like, why, right? Because it should be an alpha channel that you can use straight away. So let's go into iMovie. So if you try to import this, as you can see, you can't, you can't really use it uh, straight away as it is. While instead this one, you can import it. It is an alpha channel. So for example, if we put a background behind it, let's put something like blue to just pretend it's the sky. Voila, see, you have your clouds with transparent background because that's what alpha channel mean. It means you have the transparent backgrounds and you can use it straight away. So you may ask yourself why some assets are ready to go just like that and some other are not. So unfortunately it depends um, how the designer or the creator of that digital asset has formatted. So basically some of them are compatible straight away with iMovie and many other editing software. Some others are not. So the only confusion you have with Envato Elements is that on the attributes section, it doesn't really specify like which software is compatible with this digital asset. So you kind of have to go by luck most of the time and as I just show you, you know, some assets are ready to go, ready to be imported and just used straight away. You can, you know, adjust the speeds, you can change the background, you can fade it in, fade it out, you can do whatever you want with it. But some other like this one are not compatible with iMovie. So you have to kind of convert to them. And in order to do that, you have to use After Effects. So if you're not very familiar with After Effects, uh, don't worry. I know it may look quite intimidating if you never used it before, but I promise you it's not as difficult. So for example, let me guide you step by step. If you don't have After Effects and you really want to use a digital asset from Embado, you can download your After Effects free trial if you don't want to pay for it straight away, especially if you're not familiar with it. You can try and test it you know, for a few days for free. And then once you will have After Effects ready to go, you will see this first um, kind of panel where you will click on new composition. You can leave pretty much the setting as they are. So 1920 by 1080 pixels, and then you can leave the frame rate to 30. And then just click OK. So you're gonna start a new project. So let me show you how simple it is to convert this asset you just downloaded. Click and drag this right here into the panel. And as you can see here is working. Um, it is completely compatible with After Effects. So most digital assets on Embado are made on After Effects. So you do need this software, but it is easily fixable even for the person that is completely not familiar with After Effects. So as you can see, we just import our asset and this is the screen where you will see sort of a preview. So this is the part where you can, while you work, it's best to have a contrast background, especially if you have a transparent, like cloudy, you know, very white uh, washed off colors. Otherwise it's very tricky to work with this sort of checked background. So I'm not gonna go into specific details today in how to use After Effects. This is not a tutorial for this uh, specific software. I just wanna show you a few easy steps in how to convert any digital asset that you download from the internet into a functioning MOV file that you can easily import and use on any editing software. Okay, because we don't have to do any adjustment unless you want to adjust a little bit to the color, you can go on effect and then color correction and then you can adjust maybe the saturation or if you want to make your clouds a little bit whiter or brighter, you can go into brightness and contrast just to give you a quick example what you can do and as you can see, if you click and scroll right and left, you can adjust the brightness so we can make them a little brighter. And then you, same things for the contrast. So you can see 
sharper details. So let's say you want to adjust a little bit to the colors and that's what we did. Then you check again off the background and you want to export it as an alpha channel. So you go into composition, you click on add to render cube and then you will see down here you have um, lossless that you want to click and this is the part where you're gonna tell After Effects to export your video with transparent background so you will have by default an RGB setting but what you want to do is you want to select RGB plus alpha which means you have color plus the transparent background and then for Mac users, I strongly recommend you to change the setting from animation to Apple ProRes 4444 and then you click OK. Then you click OK again. And then the last step is you click right here on Composition Movie 1 to select where you want to save your alpha channel assets and you can name it Clouds. We can name it clouds test just for referiment and then it's perfectly fine for me to save it on my desktop and then you save it and then you click render and all you have to do is to just wait for your digital asset to download and this is the final product you will have so it's downloading right here see cloud test so as you can see is loading almost finished so it, it will take only literally a few seconds i know it's a bit of a hiccups but it's easily fixable and i want to show you how you can fix it even if you have no clue where to go what to do so it's just a matter of few clicks and as you can see now you have a perfectly usable alpha channel video right here see so this one is the same but you cannot use it it's not compatible this one is compatible with QuickTime Player now. So we can go back into our um, iMovie and we can import it right next to the first cloud. So I can show you that now it's perfectly working. See? So this is how you do it. And then of course here you can make a further adjustment, colors, speeds and so on. So it's a very easy way to fix it and uh, even when it seems like you cannot use some of the digital assets that you download on uh, Embado, every asset is easily usable if you only convert it into After Effects. So now that I show you how to do it, it should be quite easy and now literally sky is the limit. You can use as many digital assets as you want. If this video helped you, please uh, remember to leave a like, a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to have more uh, video tutorials to help you in your digital entrepreneurship journey. And I see you in my next video. Bye guys.